to another mini Q and A number 62 with me, the nature girl 30 <laughs> guys. Thanks so much for sending me these questions and y'all sent me a lot. And I also got questions on Twitter this time. So let's get started with these questions. And my first set of questions via Twitter comes from Mr. Griffith guys. This guy is awesome. Please check him out. He has a lot of great opinions when it comes to some of the topics that he has as well as a lot of things that he has uh, on wrestling. So please check him out. He is awesome. His questions for me is actually has six of them. So his questions for me, his first one is, um, do you think the Sabu's announcement of recruiting, the, uh, of rebooting the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers? Okay, what do you think of the announcement of rebooting the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers? That's the best way of saying it. Um, okay. Now, I really haven't really watched um, the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers lately because of the fact that, I don't know, it's something about the transformations. If the transformations didn't take so long, I like it in my anime. I'm not going to lie. I like Magical Girl anime, and it, except for maybe some of them, which is a little bit too much. But I will say this. I like the transformations of the Magical Girl anime because it's quite artistic, and it's actually pretty freaking awesome sometimes. But there are times it can become a little bit overdone. And now when it's live action, it looks a bit hokey and corny to me. So I really haven't really watched Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. If he wants to reboot it, fine. It may be awesome. Who knows? Or they may crap on it. Who knows? But yay? I mean, I don't know. I really don't have an opinion on it. Um, But I didn't, I'm not really beefed, messed up about it. But I'll move on from there. Um, What is up with these racial questions that you're getting lately? I feel your pain because I get them as well. I have no idea, dude, but I haven't gotten them lately since I made the announcement that I am not going to answer any more racial questions. So it, it really hasn't been a problem lately, but when it was, good grief, it was a pain and it got on my nerves. Um, what was your reaction to the death of the Ultimate Warrior? I was devastated. Like, I really, it was a shock to me I because we just saw him on Raw. That was the only thing that kind of, that, that, that really much of a shock to me is that we just saw him after WrestleMania. We saw him on the Raw after WrestleMania, then after that he was gone. So it's it, it was amazing. I mean, and he really had a great heartfelt speech. But when he was walking, I kind of can tell it was something wrong. But you know, you just kind of shrug that off. But rest in peace, man. Seriously, rest in peace, Ultimate Warrior. You are the man. Do you wish wrestling fans would give up on the CM Punk chance? We, do you wish wrestling fans would give the CM Punk chance a rest? Yes. He's not coming back, people. He's not. No matter how much you want to, he's not. And half the time, I really do believe that these people that are doing the CM Punk chance are the hecklers. That's it. They're just the hecklers. They're bored. That's just what they're doing. They, they do that to see if they can, uh, I guess, I don't know, uh, uh, mess up the WWE, make them... Um, I don't know, make them uncomfortable. Maybe that's what they're trying to do, but they need to stop. It's ridiculous. Um, final, and finally, I was going to ask you an unusual question, but I think you already know the answer. Um, what, uh, what would you think if Maria Menounos decided to one day to become a serious, uh, become a serious WWE diva and performer, what would her chances be? Yeah. Um, it wouldn't last because she's a diva herself. Let's face it. For all the pain that she has to go through each day, you have to have a heart to be a wrestler. Like, you just can't up all night. You can't overnight decide to be a wrestler. You got to know what's in stake. You got to feel the pain of a wrestler. She's going to feel the pain for a week and be like, no, I'm not doing it. She's been in the ring a few times, and that's probably why she's not going to do it because she knows how much it hurts. They will body slam you, and that mat is thin. I doubt she will do it. Because she, she's that much of a diva. She has to look good, in my opinion. That's just my opinion, people. But, Mr. Griffin, you are awesome. Thank you so much for sending me questions, dude. And for anybody that really do, do want to send me questions via Twitter, um, it my, the address that you can actually send it to is going to be on the end credits. So I'll, And also, on my outro, I'll give you a little hint of that. But let's move on to my questions that I have via YouTube. My first set of questions comes from Final Limits. Um, if there were any WrestleMania matches that you would change the result from, what would it be? Uh, ooh. I, I know a lot of people be like, you change the streak? No, I wouldn't change the streak at all. I would extricate 
if if I'm using it correctly, I would le- eliminate more. That's a better word. I would eliminate the Jerry Lawler and Cole match from the card on WrestleMania 27. I would eliminate it. I would cut that match out. That match lasts an hour, and it made everybody had to move quickly to get everything done before the 12 o'clock curfew. X it out. I would even eliminate the storyline. That's just me. I would get rid of the storyline. If Jerry Law wants to have his moment in the sun, he should have had it when he was an active wrestler. That's all I have to say about that. I would eliminate it. But I'm moving on from there. What did you think of the Bastard Son storyline in 2007 and it ending being ending uh, and it ended being revealed that Hornswoggle was Vince's son? I would eliminate that too. That was stupid. Um, what do you think when Vince blew up at the end of? <laughs> yeah, when he when yeah, that was stupid. And I think before Vince McMahon, when he blew up in a limo, something happened like a wrestler passed away right after that happened. So it kind of did mess up things. And honestly, it was stupid. It was the dumbest thing that Vince has ever done. And as usual, he had to do something just to get people to pay attention to him, even though it's not even needed. So that was stupid. Um, why is Rhea, Why does Rio Harold talk like that? I have no idea, dude. That's somebody you need to ask. You need to ask him. Uh, but he will at, probably answer, uh, answer the question for you. I wouldn't be surprised if he's watching this. Uh, what do you think of Melina? I love Melina. I really do. Unless you're talking about Melina from Mortal Kombat, but you didn't spell it the way that it with an I, so I think you're talking about the wrestler. I like Melina. She's really talented. She's extremely flexible, and I always wanted to be as flexible as her, but honestly, it's a shame that she left the way she did because she was truly a dynamo. She was a really great diva, and I, I, and I liked her. Great heel. Great heel. Liked her. Um... Why do you hate Shujinko from Mortal Kombat, the Mortal Kombat Deception? Because Shujinko, oh my gosh, his character alone was lame. There was nothing special about him. His mistakes is what led to the downfall of that entire story. Seriously, not only that, the fact is, is that the storyline itself is like you had to go from one place to one place to one place to another, and he involved himself in other people's matters when he really didn't have any position to say anything about it and number two his his fatality sucked his fatality sucked i would like to play him as a young man not as an old dude come on not that there's anything wrong with old with seniors nothing wrong with seniors but for crying out loud there was nothing special about Chujinko, and he died in the end. He was killed by Raiden. So why even have the guy in the story if he was going to die eventually? And for those that did not see, um, the for those that did not um, play Deception and had not hadn't played the ending of Raiden, sorry, spoiler alert, he's dead. He died. Seriously. So why even have him there? And he's supposed to be the next generation Luke Kane? Please. Okay. What did you think of Bo Raicho? Uh, okay. Bo Raicho. I think Bo Raicho means drunk. I think it means drunken or drunk in Spanish. I had no idea that's what Bo Raicho meant, but that's what Bo Raicho means. Um, but in Mortal Kombat Deception and Alliance, his fatality is somewhat disgusting and hilarious. I can't lie. It's hilarious. And because he's a drunken master, so all he does is drink rice wine and drink sake in order for him to, to do um, drunken style fighting. But one of his moves he does is make you barf on the ground and make you slip on it, which is gross. And he, oh my gosh, his fatality is that he will take a match, fart on it, and then he'll have like fire coming straight towards you and burn you up. It's funny, but gross at the same time. I like Bo Raicho because Bo Raicho's freaking hardcore if you know his combos. Seriously. But the fact that he farts at every step is just, oh, that's just, oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, oh, <laughs> it's gross. But let's move on to uh, my next set of questions that comes from Miss Elena Cole. Um, thank you, Miss Elena Cole, for sending me questions. You are awesome. And I like your videos. Um, what do you think will be, uh, who do you think will be the next diva to join in, uh, the Total Divas cast? Uh, I want it to be AJ, but since AJ may not come back. Um, Layla. Layla has more of an interesting story, in my opinion. 
uh, because of the fact uh, that she literally um, had to go through a lot of physical obstacles herself, especially the fact that she was dealing with her mom passing away from breast cancer and then also having a breast cancer scare herself. Or Paige. Paige is the next, um, she's, she's actually the new diva champion. I would rather it be Paige. I mean, she's 21, she's legal, she should be on the show, unlike JoJo that was 19 and had nothing to offer to it. So I would rather it be Paige or Layla. Um, which Total Divas cast member would you like to see removed from the show and why? Natalia! Because she's boring. She's boring, stiff, and lame. There's nothing interesting about Natalia. She acts like she's better than everybody else. She reminds me a lot of Bret Hart. And even when people say that Bret Hart happens to be one of the best faces in the world, no. The dude was a freaking heel. I'm sorry. He was an arrogant, self-righteous heel. And I really wish that he was a heel back in the day. I got no beef with Bret. He was a great wrestler, but he was a heel. And so can Natalya. They're both heels. But either or, she's boring. She's boring and stale. Has nothing to offer the show. So please get rid of her. Please. But I love her as a wrestler, though. She just really sucks on the reality shows. Um, do you think Paige? Uh, uh, well, do you think Paige will get a long title run? And uh, and who do you see her defending her Divas title? Uh, and I guess who do you see her? Who do you see defeat uh, uh, defeating her for the Divas title? That's a better way of saying it. Um, I don't know. I'm actually hoping that it was some way be Naomi because Naomi has a lot to offer. And I will hope for her to be the next Divas Champion or Nikki Bella. But I really don't think that she's ready for Nikki. Not yet. Or, um, but as, as for a physical aspect, I think that her and Naomi will probably be the best going toe-to-toe. -to -toe, but I think that Nikki will break her because Nikki's more of a vet. But, but still, um, I would like to see Naomi actually win the title first. And then have Nikki go after, um, Naomi. But that's just me. Um... But, but yeah, I see that Paige is going to probably have a longer title run, longer than what people expect. I wouldn't be surprised to be there for a few months, um, maybe several months. I hope so. But I hope they have a storyline for her in the long run. Um, how do you feel about Seth Rollins cur currently sh um, shining most? Uh, okay. How do you feel about Seth Rollins currently shining the most out of three out of the three members of the Shield? Um... Seth Rollins, I'm not going to say that Seth Rollins is the most highlighted. I think that Roman Reigns is the most highlighted. But I will say that Seth Rollins is the architect of the shield. He's the guy that keeps the glue. He's like the glue to keep the shield together. But he's actually the safer version of Jeff Hardy, in my opinion. I say the safer version is that he's more, he's more accurate when it comes to who he lands on. It's a few times he messes up, but the guy is really great at what he does. But I'm not going to say that he outshines the shield, outshines the, the other two members of the shield. I do believe they're more focused on Roman Reigns, but either or, they're more as a cohesive whole because of Seth Rollins, in my opinion. So I'm not going to say he outshines them, but I do like Seth Rollins. I do believe that Seth Rollins definitely is a dynamo, so that if they do break up, he'll be fine going on his own. So, so yeah, straight up. Um, okay, your next question for me is, how do you feel about Cesaro's push? Do you think the WWE has something big planned for him this summer? Yeah, especially for SummerSlam. I do believe that. He has had a great run. Like, ever since he broke away from the Real Americans, even being the Real Americans, the guy has been noticed for his strength. And especially with the size of him, he's an average-sized guy but with, with incredible strength that's ridiculous. And it's all his own body. Like, it's all his own body mass. He's lifting up. Like, seriously, he is... He literally lifted up the big show and tossed him over the ring. And from an irregular angle, he picked up of uh, uh, Jack Swagger and tossed him into the ring. That's incredible. The guy has unbelievable amount of strength. And I know they're going to have something for him at SummerSlam. I'm, I, I I believe it. I guarantee you. They're going to have something for him at SummerSlam. Unlike they did with RVD. Uh, which superstars can you see being released um, during spring cleaning? Oh, Alicia Fox is probably going to be the next to go. Uh, who else will be next? Oksana will be next. Um... I don't know. Um, Santino Morella. I wouldn't be surprised if they get rid of him too. Uh, who else? I think Goldust will be leaving soon because they're going to be pushing more Cody Rhodes. And I think that they, he does need to back down. Plus, he has a second job anyway. Um, those are the people that I can think of so far. At first, I was going to say Ryback, but now the whole Ryback thing is starting to pick up. He's there for a while. But 
yeah, I can say a few others that, that I think about gonna it's gonna probably be dropped. I wouldn't be surprised if Tamino be next. I wouldn't be surprised at all if Tamino be next. But those are the divas that I can think of. But as for like regular superstars, that's the those are the only guys that I can think of at the at, at this moment. But great question, man. Um, my next set of questions comes from Gideon Woods. Um, name name five of the worst WWE gimmick characters you absolutely hated. Oh, uh, right to censor. Right the censor started to become downright annoying. Like as time went on, they wouldn't go away. Good grief, they wouldn't go away. But I will say that um it was right the censor. Um, Spirit Squad really was funny at first, but then they became an annoyance because it went on too long. And in fact, they became one of the most powerful factions in WWE history. Beyond the Nexus was hilarious, but then they end up really becoming annoying. Um, let me see. Uh, sh well, that's WWE. Um, what other gimmick was there? Do Love. Yeah. Even though Do Love was powerful, Do Love's dudeness kind of got annoying. There was nothing really dude about dudeness about Do Love. Do Love kind of bothered me a bit. I like Cactus Jack, but I just didn't like Do Love. There was nothing loving about Do Love. It was more crazy about Do Love. But anyway, um, next one. Oh, uh, ooh, uh, WWE. Um, there's probably other ones, but those are the ones that I can think of right now. And so far, that was like what three? So I gotta come up with um, two more. Uh, I'll be here for a while if I actually try to come up with two more. But but yeah, I have to say, the changing faces of Dustin. Like seriously, he became Gold Dust, and he went from Gold Dust to being Dustin. He went from Dustin to being Dusty. It, like seriously, Dusty Dustin Rose couldn't figure out what he wanted to do. And I guess I love Gold Dust. But he went from Goldust to Dustin. Yeah. And that, that bothered me. Oh, gosh. The American badass gimmick. Oh, my. Yeah. I'm going to say that. I did not like The Undertaker when he became an American badass. I didn't. I didn't like it at all. I don't like it now. He should have stayed the dead man. You can't call him the dead man if he's on a bike. No. Stupid. <laughs> really, really, really dumb. And I guess my final one will be Corporate Kane. I hated Corporate Kane. I still hate Corporate Kane. I hate it. And I still do. Not changing it at all. Ugh! Hate Corporate Kane. Okay. What if The Undertaker didn't lose to Brock at WrestleMania 30? Um, using your imagination, who would you like to see face Undertaker in WrestleMania 31? Ooh. Okay. It definitely wouldn't be John Cena because he'd be the most hated guy. But I have to say that everybody wants Sting, so sure. Sting versus Taker, that would be something interesting to see. And, you know, Sting really needs to have a run for his money. So that really would be an interesting thing to see. But I am glad that it was brought. But yeah, just to use my imagination, it would be Sting. Um, name three of your favorite animes growing up. Okay. Um, of course, um, the first anime that I saw as a child was Grim Fairy Tales and Macross Plus. And those are the those are the first two animes that I watched growing up. So um growing up it would it would be Grim Fairy Tales, um, Macross Plus, and Voltron. I, I guess I guess Macross Plus is the same as Voltron. So I, I yeah, it is. So okay, so I'll say that Macross Plus or Voltron, unless I think it's the same thing. I don't know. But either or it'll be I'm just, I'm just gonna up and say it. It'll be Grim Fairy Tales. Voltron and uh oh Avangelion. Those three. So it'll be Neo Genesis, Avangelion, uh uh um uh what is it? What did I just say? Voltron and Grim Fairy Tales. If Macross Plus isn't the same, then let's add that in there as a fourth one. Um but your next one is um name a Marvel superhero that you would like to see um uh, have their own movie that hasn't had one before. Wonder Woman. I think the Wonder Woman is Marvel. I think she's Marvel or DC. I don't know. Um, let me see. Who hasn't had a movie for Marvel? I think everybody has had their own movie so far. Like seriously, you had uh, you had the Hulk have his own movie. You had uh, shoot. Um, yeah, you had the Hulk have his own movie. You had Superman have his own. Well, Superman's DC. Um, Spider Man have his own movie. Um, the Avengers have their own movie. Uh, yeah, Iron Man. 
I think everybody in Marvel already had it. More than likely for me, it would be DC. Like, seriously, it, DC Comics hasn't really had a lot coming out, and I would like to see Wonder Woman. That if, so I know that you wanted Marvel, but the only one I can think of is, is DC, and my one I want is Wonder Woman. An actual good movie. Like, seriously. Not these ridiculous movies that they're coming out with now. But your next question for me is, Name one of your worst video game glitches you've ever experienced, <laughs> okay, while playing the video game, except for WWE 13, which you told us in your last Q&A. Um, glitches. I would have to say every Tomb Raider game I've ever played had a glitch where you fall through the floor. Just seriously. I would be halfway towards the end and somehow I will fall off the level and die. And I'm like, what just happened? I was just about to beat the game and this happened. <laughs> that yeah pretty much that and um my next set of questions actually comes from three count um why did beyonce's sister solange attack jc in the elevator i have no idea i never heard of that story but that's something i'm gonna look up why are wwe wrestlers dropping okay why are wwe uh dropping wrestlers first names and only using their last i have no idea i really don't know but i still call him biggie langston He's still Big E Langston to me, not Big E. But I guess they kind of want to give, I guess Big E Langston, something that's not catchy, like uh, like like uh, like Alexander Cesaro or whatever his first, like example, I don't really remember his first name anymore. People call him Cesaro. And before I remembered his first name, and now you can't remember, you only remember Cesaro. So I guess you want to have something that's more catchy. Like if your name isn't catchy like Santino Morella, then you probably just want just to have their last name, something that will literally catch the mind of, the WWE Universe. So I kind of understand why. Why now they're doing it now. So to make sure that, it's, that you're kind of stamping and the brain. And my final set of questions actually comes from Mr. Ronzo. What is the worst pain that you've ever felt in your life? Um, Honestly, these. Um, Not really so much my hands, but all over my body. Um, My dog got caught in a swamp and has been out there for 10 days. Unfortunately, I still haven't gotten him out. But when I tried to get him out the first time, um, let's just say I had to cut through a lot of stuff, got scratched, got prodded, got poked, bashed, banged, and my entire body was sore and achy throughout the entire day to where I couldn't move. I, it, it was literally really hard to move, and if any ounce of clothing touched my sores, I pretty much felt like my entire body was on fire. Like, seriously, it felt that bad. Um, and I hated every ounce of it. Have you ever woke up in pain? Oh, yeah. Um... Last year was the most pain I've ever been in when I had a lot of infections that pretty much caused like every ounce of my abdominal area to just feel like it was just compressing in and stretching out and it was a lot of pain to where I was like literally bleeding. It it hurt. I, I didn't like it at all. Um, I'm glad it's gone. <laughs> I'm glad it's cured. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. And it hasn't came back in a long time, but that's something I would never want to be a part of, would never want to feel ever again. Um... Have you ever woke up all sweaty? Sometimes when I have the air conditioning off. Um, oh gosh. Uh, anything about racism, I don't care if it's Asian or whatever. I'm not answering it. But I will answer this. Would you date an Asian man or, or a woman? Woman? No. Man? Sure. Why not? Um, and Brodus Clay, what race he is, ask him. But y'all, thank you so much for sending me these questions. And if you have any other questions that you want to send me, send me uh, those questions via my YouTube inbox or at uh, on my Twitter at rkh30 hashtag Nature Girl Q and A. This Nature Girl Thirty signing off. Peace out. Later.